Oh. Oh, you, you really... Oh. It really works. Samantha, your performance was marvelous tonight. Thank you. Please join me and tell me what you think of the club. Listen carefully. See this gun? I want the truth from you. And I want it now, or I will fire. A gun? Whatever for? I want a signed confession that you're behind the game in Oxford, and I'm not leaving without it. Are you insane? I recommended you to this club. I got you your performance tonight. Do you have no sense of decorum whatsoever? Don't change the subject. You can't buy me off just by getting me a gig. David thinks I'm the one pulling the game in Oxford. I won't let him go through life hating me and thinking I betrayed him. I won't. I see. <sighs> it's a good thing you're doing this for love. It's the one thing that could possibly excuse your behavior, young lady. I'm not... I'm not in love with David Stiles. No one understands. I understand. The confession? Don't think you can change my mind. Hush. Let me think. The problem with being a game master is that you tend to think everyone else is playing too. I was sure you were behind the events at Oxford. I'm not! If it isn't you, then that leaves just one possibility. Oh, come on! You are totally yanking my chain! I suppose I will have to show you. Very well. Come with me. Are you sure? But what does this have to do with the game at Oxford? The person you're looking for is not an illusionist. As long as you're looking for one, you won't see the real culprit. <gasps> oh my god, I know who did it! Right. It just got my coat. Angela's gone! Where would she have gone? Do you know? David, Angela's not right in the head. She's obsessed with you. And there's this whole weird thing about her father. All the incidents at the school were related to this picture of her dad that I saw in her room. He died when his restaurant burned down. Burned down? Yeah. Poor Angela. It must have really screwed her up. But what I don't get is how she does this stuff. Like the weight room. There were things flying around and... <gasps> your face. It's bad, isn't it? Uh, yeah, pretty bad. Angela, now, where would she have gone? 
I think I know. I'll tell you everything on the way there. Angela! Leave me alone! Go away! Maybe you should let me talk to her. Just stay back, Sal. I've got to deal with this. I told you to leave me alone. It's okay, Angela. We just want to talk to you. Speak for yourself. I know who you are, Angela. I know. I don't know what you mean. Why are you bothering me? Why are you here? How does she do that? Sam, you should leave now. This is too dangerous. I'm not going. Oh no, I can click. Okay. Yes, it's Angela. We had the hints all there, but we didn't see it. We can't get near her while she's like this. Somehow we need to get her to turn off. I have an idea. And... And this, we have still have the gun. No. Oh, no. Ready. Ready. Can we? What are you doing? David, now! Now we are playing David, who has never been here in a long time. And we're doing that what um, the old professor tells us, with the shaman. What? Good work, Sam. That should keep her from starting any fires, at least for a while. Go away! Let's go! I need to do this myself. Okay, please be careful. Angela, stop. We have to forgive each other, and ourselves. I want to help you control this thing so it doesn't cause any more pain. I should have listened to you that day in my office. What, what you did was wrong, but I don't believe you meant to hurt Laura. You can't control fairies. They do what they like. I used to love fairies, but they hurt my daddy. They were very bad. Angela, come here. Come sit down. That's a good girl. <laughs> You're not my da. You're not Jesse Mulholland. Angela. <gasps> oh, there he is. Do you see him? He's right there. Angela, listen to me. What happened to your father was not your fault. He loved you. He would have wanted you to get help. Fairies can fly. I'm glad 
night we went to their memorial, it was so sad. Hardly anyone was there. I can't stop thinking about her. Why would anyone kill themselves? After the cafeteria incident, she acted so strange, as if she felt responsible. That's crazy. Did you say you saw something on her brain scan, Dr. Stiles? What was it? It was in the Massa Intermedia. It's a small region present in some, but not all, brains. We don't know what it does. Even when it is present, no neural activity is ever seen there. But it was lit up in Angela's scans, right before the events that took place on campus. So what? She was some kind of alien or something? She, she really did cause those events on campus? With a mind? She wasn't an alien. Merely a very unusual human being. As for the events on campus, I don't have proof of anything. Nothing unusual came up in the autopsy. And neither do any of you have proof of anything. So I remind you that discretion is the better part of valor. Man, wild. So what do you do next, Dr. Stiles? Research. Lots of research. dark and deadly. I'd be an idiot to walk away from a house like this. Great food and a hundred pounds a week. The lady doth protest too much. <sighs> Tamansa, come and get this damn rabbit. That was Grey Matter, as you see by Jane Jensen. Um, this is this has been a nice ride again. Great art, interesting finale, and um, I will let the credits run through. I'm not one hundred percent sure. Um, houses, here we see some concept artwork, houses will, um, would have led to a second game because there was one planned, but then DTP Entertainment went bankrupt and Jane Jensen had another project, uh, three other projects actually, that all didn't went too well. and. Because we have a scene, a post credit scene, I recommend you watching, which um, can be seen as something romantic, but I remember in the German version it was a little bit different. Um, I'm actually surprised that there are that many small differences in the versions. There was, I remember, maybe I remember it wrong, but I remember there was a different, there was a version that was hinted to a possible second grammar about the brain activities of the dead. So it was maybe about the zombies. And yes, here we see Mephistopheles. I had trouble making this game run technically, but I'm happy I managed and I'm happy I finished it now because who knows how long how good it would have went in the future. I don't know how well I can play this game in the future when I would ever replay it, which I'm certain I would, because it is great. And that what you hear is again Scarlet Furies with the singer being the daughter of, um, of Ian Howe. 
I'm a fucking nonsense. How, how I, I mentioned the name already of, of Jane Jensen's husband, who wrote um, who wrote the soundtrack for all her for all of her games. And um, as you see again, I have problems with common English names. <laughs> Um, Robert Holmes, that was his name, Robert Holmes. Yeah, Robert Holmes. Scarlet Furies, Raleigh Holmes' his daughter, that's a woman over here. And Finn Zilliger. Zilliger is basically the second composer um, for the lower titles. Mm, he also made, as you saw, Sound Design and Periscope Stories. He is the composer of the um, of the Deponia games by the Delic, and he made um, additional tracks and sound design for Skyrim and the Elder Scrolls Online. The game I came also out on Xbox 360. It's even in the store still, I guess. I think I found it once. And you can transport things from the C60 store into the Xbox One and the Xbox Series store. I'm always confused with the Xbox names. That was the first credit scene. I will say goodbye now. We finished Wolf Among Us and Grey Matter. And the next game will be the Tomb Raider reboot from 2013. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.